Hello people, how are you? Uh, welcome again to another tutorial. In this tutorial uh, I will gonna show to you how you can create this uh, animation here, uh, this filmic, uh, if you can call it uh, animation, so that you can use for your logos, for text, uh, anything that you want. In this case I have used this uh, little uh, a picture of an angel that I have here on my on my computer. Um, this is an SVG file that I have downloaded from the internet. Uh, I will place um, a link on the description but you can use any picture that you want. It is important that you have it uh, in SVG uh, type so that you can import it uh, to, to Blender. So let's start this tutorial. First let's create a new scene. Okay. Let me just uh, activate the, the screencast keys. If you want to, during this tutorial, if you have any doubt you, of which keys or with uh, which uh, mouse buttons am I clicking, you can always look at the bottom left, bottom right, I'm sorry, of the screen. So let's select all the objects on the scene with uh, the right click and then let's remove them. Press the X key or the delete key. Next step is to import the SVG file to Blender. I have already a tutorial uh, that explains to you step by step uh, how you can do that. So for this case uh, I will not gonna explain to you uh, in a very detailed uh, way. Uh, I will gonna be a little bit uh, quicker. Um, but uh, if you have any doubt, uh, I will uh, place the, the link of the video in, in the description of this, this video too. I have already that picture. Um, on my computer, I have it on my desktop, so let's import it. Go here to File, Import, and select the option where it says Scalable Vector Graphics SVG. As I said before, it is on my desktop, so let's open it. Okay, and now, if we, if you look at uh, at, uh, at the screen, uh, as you can see it have already imported um, my picture. <coughs> it is a little bit small, so um, the next thing that we need to do is to increase it a little bit. Uh, for that, let's select the picture, click on Tab to go to Edit Mode and press A to select all the object. Okay? Now to scale it, you can use uh, the menu over here or you can press the S key and then uh, let's type 50. Okay, I think that 50 is good. Now that we have uh, our picture, uh, now that we have um, scaled our, our picture, um, the next thing that we need to do is to add uh, some uh, extrusion to, to it. For that, click here where it says context, go to the geometry tab, and here where it says extrude, let's add some values. Okay, I think that uh, 0.15 is good. Um, another thing that is important is to add uh, some bevel to, to the edges because that is where the light will gonna be uh, reflected so on this little uh, tab over here where it says depth let's add some values to okay point 0.2 let's try point 0.3 okay and then click tab to exit the edit mode. Okay, as you can see now we have our uh, picture um, on our scene. 
uh, next thing is to add some materials let's go to the shading tab make sure that you have the object selected and then go to the material tab here um, as you can see it have already uh, assigned uh, one material uh, that material came from the SVG file that is the, the base color that is present on the SVG file we will go to remove it and create a new one for this case we are going to use a metallic material because we want the light to be uh, reflected on the surface so let's increase the metallic to, to the top Okay, now that we have our material assigned to our object, um, let's um, create um, the camera, let's insert the camera. First, click on 7 to go to the, the top view, okay, shift A to add and select a camera. Um, now uh, next step uh, is to to point uh, the camera to the object that uh, we are uh, looking right now in the same perspective that we are looking right now that is the top view okay so to do that press ctrl alt and zero and as you can see now the camera is pointing exactly to 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 the scene that uh, we we are uh, viewing before it is not uh, correctly aligned uh, but we are going to align it just press n to go to this menu over here where it says view and activate the option lock camera to view okay. now with the mouse wheel of your mouse you can place the object on the camera i think that is good let's uncheck the option and press n to exit uh, the menu um, <clears throat> now let's um, add uh, a curve that is will gonna be the path where the lights will gonna flow so shift a curve and let's select circle it have created here our circle on the center of the screen press s to scale it i think that is good and then press g to move it okay now that we have our circle created let's just uh, define a little bit uh, with more detail uh, details uh, the part the path of, of the light so press tab to go to edit mode let's select with the right click of the mouse this vertice over here and press G to move it let's move it here okay now let's select this one press G let's move it here now let's select this one press g and let's rotate it okay and now this one g and let's rotate it again to this one i am making this but uh, you can uh, make it uh, at your own taste uh, it is up to you if you want uh, the path to be more closest to the object or with more distance that is up to you for me and for this tutorial i think that is good just like this click tab to exit um, the edit mode and now let's add the first light shift a light let's select a point light okay it have created our point light on the center of our screen but we want it to follow this curve that we have created before to do that make sure that you have the light selected and click here on this menu where it says context add object constraint and follow path okay now 
click here where it says target and select the Bezier circle that is the shape that you have created before. If we change this value over here, as you can see, now the light is moving along our uh, our uh, circle. Our uh, I don't know now this is not a circle anymore, but uh, as you can see, the object is following that path that we have um, created before. Let's put the values to zero again. Okay. And now let's uh, start to, to configure our um, animation. For this case, we are going to use maybe 75 frames. So select, click here and select 75. Okay. Make sure that you, you have uh, your cursor uh, on the first frame click here with the right click of the mouse on says where it says offset and select insert keyframe okay now let's go to the end of the animation click here let's put the value 100 right click of the mouse and insert keyframe again now if we play this animation as you can see the light is following automatically our path okay next thing uh, that uh, we are we are going to use two lights uh, but uh, first let's just uh, configure uh, our uh, render uh, for this case we are going to use eevee Make sure that you have ambient occlusion, bloom and screen space reflections activated. Okay. Let's just make a little test. Click here. Okay. On render view. And then press play. And as you can see, now the lights are reflecting on our object. Next thing that... Um, I want to do is to go here to the world tab and let's put the background black completely black so that uh, the lights have more contrast with uh, our object I think that uh, the light is um, a little bit uh, needs a little bit more power so let's increase this value to 1000 okay let me just do one thing here i will move this path to the top a little bit so select the path press g and z to move it on the z-axis and let's place it on the top of the object press zero to go to camera again and let's see how it looks Okay, it start to looking uh, very, very good. Um, in the beginning of this tutorial, if you have noticed, I have two lights uh, on, on our path. So let's add another one. Shift A, light point. Okay, let's go here. The process is the same to the context tab. Add construct, follow path. And let's select the same Bezier circle. Okay. If we run our animation now, you will notice that we have two lights on the scene. One of them is not moving, but we are going to 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 do that uh, in the next step. So let's go to the first frame. Let's select the light that we have created uh, last the point zero zero one and then here in the offset let's hit 50 okay because i want this light to start over here on the top after that right click of the mouse and insert keyframe let's go to the to the end of the movie 
insert the value minus 15 right click of the mouse and insert reframe now if we run our animation as you can see the lights are moving in different directions that's what we want let's just click here so that I can show you what is the final aspect okay and now let's add some some colors uh, to it make sure okay click on one light uh, for this case let's use uh, green as in the example that I have showed in the beginning of the of this tutorial and for this one let's use red okay now let's play it uh, just remove this this little uh, click here in this in this um, button little button here so that it removes the overlays on our scene and uh, as you can see uh, we have uh, now created um, our uh, nice and uh, cool looking and um, filmic animation you can use the colors that you want you can use the intensity of the lights that you want and you can use even the materials uh, that you want uh, so that you can uh, explore uh, other um, different uh, results um, to, to, to your video um, it's a simple tutorial I hope that you have liked it um, and if you do, uh, please uh, subscribe my channel.